Hey guys, it is HPP and this is Super Mario World. Wait a minute, this isn't Pokemon Channel, I know, right? Well, the thing about Pokemon Channel is I posted the video a couple days ago, and a couple days ago happened to be April 1st, so make that of what you will of it, but... Anyway, I'm in this ghost house right now, and I'm trying not to die because there's booze everywhere, which are already dead, but, you know, whatever. Maybe they'll kill me, maybe they won't, maybe I'll kill them. How can you kill what's already dead? I don't know. Have I got this switch? Yeah, here's a door. Oh, it's this room. I hate this room, but it's got this coin thing. You can move this around with the D-pad the or the control stick or whatever you're using to play. D-pads are for real men. Unlike D-bags, but anyway. Coin thing looks kind of like a skull right now. Well, a skull with a weird growth on the left. Weird growth. Yeah, just just kind of pick up these coins and go because yeah. How am I supposed to reach those? Whatever, I don't care. Ugh. Okay, oh look at me, look at me. Obviously, ah, booze. You can like hit them. Okay, you want to hit this switch and then ignore it again because that just kind of screwed me up. Then go back through there and hit that. Magically, it becomes a piranha plant somehow that destroys its face on a block of oh, block block. And here's the exit, because ghost houses are ghost houses are cool that way. Anyway, how you guys been doing? This is my non-April Fool's upload, because I'm actually continuing this series like I said I would. My late absences in this have been due to last semester and this semester being pretty tough. Last semester went really well, I'm just gonna keep going on. It's just jumping and running and stuff, so I'm just gonna handle that and try and talk at the same time. Capes are awesome. I also get sidetracked very easily. But anyway, ah! Okay. Pick up the blue shell. Try it, nope. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna try and talk about not Mario while I play Mario. Because that way, you can learn about Mario while I... Wait, is there... Ooh, there is. There is a straw thingy right here. Ah! Okay. Don't think there's anything up here but, like, a dragon coin. And there it is! Yes! Dragon coins don't really do anything in this game, but give you an extra life. I think... Yeah. In the GBA version of this, they actually can be collected for people who like collecting things, and you can add them to your completion total, I think. How does this go? I always remember this one, but I never... Oh, it's one of these. I hate these. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Wait for it. Am I gonna get it? Am I gonna get it? Yes! I got it! Okay. Back to normal stuff. What was I even talking about? I wonder how many times I actually say that in these videos, but seriously. What am I talking about? Okay, 14. 14. Yeah, these last two semesters have just been... Uh, then again, it's my senior year. Um, I'm actually taking my capstone course this semester. I'm trying to get all my credits out of the way. There's a few more I'm gonna have to get in the summer, and that just kind of grinds my Mario gears or war gear. I don't care. It grinds something that's not pleasant. And that's been adding to a lot of stress and my diswant to really do anything. Just gonna go ahead and do this level because fun. I'm gonna try not to depress you guys too much, but then I talk of everything sucks. Because it really doesn't. It's just school. I'm tired of school. I want to be done. And I really, really don't like stupid things getting in the way, which I've had a lot of that. Like learning that I need to take summer classes. And guess what? I don't know if I'll be able to take as many summer classes as I need. Because it turns out, that I learned about a month ago, that I need to take an anthropology class that I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do because they aren't... I, I, I aren't allowing for any in the summer that aren't directed studies, and I gotta get that approved, and uh... So I don't even know what's gonna go down. I just know that I'm gonna be mostly done. And... Uh, I just don't know, you guys. It's kind of driving me crazy. I hadn't noticed. But I've been trying to... <sighs> Stupid Goombas. Playing and talking is hard. But like... I don't remember this level really being all that hard. It just... 
gets to me, especially the hammer bros. I hate them. Why do they have those flying platforms? I'm gonna like screw it up a couple of times, I'm sure. But anyway. Man, I sound Ah, oh, see? What did I say? Damn it! What did I say? What did I say? Gonna screw it up. Hopefully it won't happen another time or I'm just freaking prophetic. Yeah, but you know, other than school, I mean, everything's been pretty cool. Um, just kind of a casual type year from the stresses of school. You know, still got my bros and everything that I've been doing. Just haven't really up to the. <sighs> hey, I didn't screw it up! Yay! <laughs> that whole LP thing. And I actually had waited a long time. I meant to do the Pokemon Channel thing last year. What kind of boggles my mind is that there are people that are interested in, were, seemed interested in it. I mean, you know, if there's enough demand, maybe I'll revisit it, but I also had a lot of complaints of, what is this? And I kind of agree with that. It's basically a game where you watch Pikachu watch TV, and I'm not really cool with that. And... Yeah, so don't don't expect me to continue that, but if there really is crazy strong demand for it, I'll probably do it sometime in the future. But it's not something I intended to, and it was kind of a joke, just because I view the whole thing as kind of a joke. Even though, when I was in... Have I already showed these P things? I'm just kind of flying around, but they inflate you, and you can fly up in the air and get stuff. It's really just one-ups and mushrooms in this level, but... Hey, another P thing. Because if I hadn't picked it up, I would have fallen to my death. I've been eaten by flying red turtles. Ugh, that's an image. Why is that there? They make you fly all the way up here, and then they give you that thing. But, yeah, I don't, I don't expect to follow up a Pokemon channel. However, I've been playing a lot of games lately that I do want to LP once I'm done with this. Because, it's a lot of really awesome ideas. I've also wanted to revisit games with a certain monkey in them. And ape. But, we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Not revisit as in replay them, but two other games. Like Jungle Beat, no. I mean, maybe, but Jungle Beat is not high on my list. There are many other games in that series I would do. I would probably even do Jungle Climber before Jungle Beat. Not that I really hate Jungle Beat, I just, yeah, and here's the secret exit I forgot to say. See, I get caught up in the platforming, the dodging the enemies, and the talking. But that's something I've pretty much gotten accustomed to at this point. And here's the secret ghost house of Donut Land. I don't know how this is Donut Land. I mean, I guess it's kind of donut shaped because you, know, you got the water in the middle. But, honestly, calling it Donut Land's kind of a stretch. There's no sprinkles, man. No cream filling, no... <sighs> anything. I went to Dunkin' Donuts yesterday, and they had all kinds of things. I don't see any of those things here in Donut Land. And I don't know if any of you people from Oregon, or people that go to Oregon, I know there's a few of you, are aware of a place called Voodoo Donuts in Oregon, but I've recently become aware of that, and it sounds like the best donut shop in the entire world. Totally look it up, it's awesome. But, um, I need to go out to Oregon just to go there. But anyway, secret donut house full of ghosts and not donuts. Why aren't there even any ghost donuts? Seriously. I think I was talking about something before I was talking about this. Why is there a door here? Wait, there was already a door there. There, and here's this exit. It's not technically the real exit, but it's an exit that is an exit that leads to another level that we haven't done yet, so it technically counts because stuff. Now, the important question is, am I going to go into the pipe? No. No, I'm probably not. Because I can do that later, once I've finished all the other stuff around here, which there's still a lot of stuff in here, by the way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I need to go here first, because there's something else in the other donut house I need to get. The other donut- not a donut house, it's a ghost house in donut land. Yeah, just start select to restart the level. And go back in and try to stomp on some more flying Koopas that magically have capes that can give me capes. I don't know how that works. Do they stuff the capes full of feathers? I, I don't know. I don't. It's not a good idea to question Mario. 
He's already a plumber that travels through pipes to stomp on dragon turtles. But, whatever. So yes, I've been playing a lot of games lately. I've actually recently become a fan of Fire Emblem. I can't see myself LPing Fire Emblem games just because they're so erratic, but it's something I've really become a big fan of. The one on the 3DS is just awesome. And I've been playing a lot of my Wii U lately that I've got purely for... Well, I mean, I'm a Nintendo person, so I got it for Nintendo stuff, but I got it because Smash Bros. Which you'll probably hear me talk a lot about during the summer. <laughs> because they're making an announcement about it, finally, but... I won't go into that now, because I could literally talk about Smash Bros. for an entire day without stopping. And up here, thanks to the secret exit, is the top secret area, which has various things in it, like fire flowers, feathers, Yoshis. So many Yoshis. Yoshis everywhere. <sighs> I'm gonna be really stupid and go down here with this Yoshi that I already got. I should pay more attention to what I'm doing. Everybody has to watch you walking back and forth, sir. Yeah, they're cool. You know, you know how it is, man. But the point I'm trying to get at here is that there's another thing I need to get in this castle. Castle. With the ability to fly. The ability to fly is really, really invaluable in this game because they made so many things accessible by well executed flying. It's one thing I like about it. Oh, and uh, I think I was talking about the Wii U. Yeah, I don't know how many of you watching actually have Wii U's, but I'm a really big fan of the whole Miiverse thing they added that's like basically Facebook for individual games and individual game communities. And I just really like the whole system, it's cool. And I can't wait to see it implemented for bigger name games, because they... Honestly, they don't have a lot of big name games there right now. I think the biggest one is Nintendo Land, which is really cool, by the way. Definitely a must-have. For any Nintendo fan. And... The Virtual Console games. I mean, New Super Mario Bros. U is pretty good. But... Other than that... They really don't have that much, although I heard good things about that LEGO City game that I don't have. Okay, this is a mini-boss fight, by the way. Stuff's happening. And it's probably a little more difficult than some of the actual boss fights, just because you can easily forget what you're doing and fall through the floor if you were- if I were to grab that one directly below me right now. But, it's pretty easy, all things considered. Big Blue ain't got shit on me! But fun times, you know. Whew. And it's, it's good to get back in this scene because I feel like I really, really should. I also feel terrible just because I started up the series and then just kind of left it. I'm not really sure why, but... I just had stuff, I guess. But I started playing stuff, like... Oh, well, let's list them off. This is just another... Ah, damn it. Stupid Whomps. Those are Whomps? Yeah, Whomps are the ones that walk around in 64. Those are Whomps. But, let's see. I've, since then, I've played... Persona 4, which is... Oh my god. Persona 4 Arena, which you guys know how much I like fighting games. That is a great fighting game. Uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which I owned, but never actually played. I've been playing that lately, and I am terrible at timing things. Like, seriously. I know a couple of people that are going to be like, how can you be terrible at that? It's so easy. And I mean, one of my roommates is like, how can you be so bad at it? It's really, really easy. Because it's kind of like in Paper Mario 2, you can completely dodge damage if you hit the right button. But, honestly, I'm just really terrible at timing some of the damage dodge mechanics. Especially the one with the hammer. God, not to give any spoilers, but that might be a game I want to try to LP eventually. Eventually. But there's a few more on my list before I even touch games that I'm not all that familiar with. So again, certain monkeys come to mind. 
maybe even a certain barren bird, but there's other stuff I want to do before I touch games that are a little more unusual. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Hell, I've even been considering Pokemon Snap lately. That's something I beat a month ago in like an hour. Just because it's such a short game, it would make for a really short LP and just be a lot of fun. But why am I talking about that? I need to finish this first. Which, this game is also short. This will probably take me, what? Uh, ten more parts. If that. At least the rate this is going. Of course, watch me lose to Morton a few times. Stupid Morton. Oh, and this is the other archetype of fight. There's actually three fight archetypes in the game. And Morton's the first one that just decides to drop the ball on you. But it's pretty easy, and we got him, so... Jump on his head. Don't jump on him when he's on the wall, though. That won't do anything. Bad, bad idea, folks. Hey, for more text. Thank you, says the Yoshi Egg. Morton Cooper Jr. was blah 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 Mario. Huzzah! Onward! Destroying more of Bowser's valuable castles. How does he build these things? Are the Koopas that good at architecture? Like, man. Yeah, so we're gonna save here and stop here. It's good to see you guys again. Let's go on to the next part.